Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Data Director. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how the Data Director will use the hierarchy and what are the controls we can have for using the hierarchy. So let's try first thing the searching the records. So let me log into the IDD application we can search the record for example we already created one query called as employee query here we have given the row id object as a one because we know that at, at database side we have the employees with one two etc row ids so let me show you that details until it get loaded let's run this query so we can see there are there is a record with a row ID object one, the name of employee is Melinda Doy, and it has employee ID one zero zero one. If we open this record, we can see the corresponding details of that record, such as the what is the record details like employee name and employee ID, the associated relationships. We have the xref, and we have the matches these are the sections now what we are going to do we are going to go to the data section and we'll open the hierarchy so whenever you click the open hierarchy it goes to the hierarchy controls so here you can do all the operations related to the hierarchy so here uh, we can see the what are the entities currently available in the uh, in your database and their their relationship now suppose if you want to narrow if you want to make a smaller you can use the smaller size if you want to increase you can increase the size there is one more pan called as a navigation so in this pan suppose you have the more hierarchy getting displayed in this view suppose if i expand this particular hierarchy i can see the more records let me expand all of them So this is the record but in order to navigate what I have to do I have to use uh, the control panel something like this to move to the right hand side and to move at downside you have this control to move upside you have this control but this is little more annoying or people don't like so instead of that we can use this navigator panel where what other section you want to put you can put there and explore that thing if you want to more bigger size you can do that as well so once you suppose if you click at the bottom of this hierarchy just click on that figure of the hierarchy and you will see the details so this is the use of the navigation pan then we have the layout so here are different kind of layouts available like hierarchy layout taxonomy tree layout network layout circular layout explorer view so what are the view you want to use you can use it for example if i want to use hierarchy select it then at the right hand side you will see the corresponding properties for that view uh, other for that design the distance between node you can small make it small you can increase it distance between the levels you can increase the level size or level uh, length the distance between the edges if you want to reduce the size you can do that once you are done with this setting all this property click on the apply button so whenever the you click on the apply button the view get changed now you can see in the hierarchy view and this is the level difference the length difference etc you can configure next section is called as a filters Filters are very important. In in general, uh, business actually don't want to see everything in the hierarchy. They, for example, if you have the different kind of hierarchy, like credit hierarchy or legal hierarchy, both are available in your data, and you want to just display the legal hierarchy. So in that case, 
filters will be helpful the first filters available so nothing but at this level so for example if you choose only employee you have the reports to and suppose if you select employee then you have the reports to and employees these are the relationship available if you choose the product then it has the reports to and the made by now if i select employee i just want employees only relationship then select that and click on the apply button so what are the relationship which i have the employees that will be displayed currently it is not showing the reason is employees this relationship available between the employee and the organization and we have just searched the employee so that is the reason we have to use the reports to and if you click now you will see the relationship between these employees we have not added organization that is the reason we can't see uh, we can't see the employees now let me select employee and reports to click on apply button now i can see this relationships if you want to uncheck all you can say use that button if you want to select all these relationship you can have that option i'll just now keep the reports to and apply on the right hand side there are some other properties it first is hide unconnected entities suppose you open the all the relationship and you filtered on based on some criteria so there will be some entity which are not connected if you want to hide that just select this show pending relationship means those records which are in pending state that means substrate indicator is zero if you want to show that as well you have to enable this by default it, it is disable and click on apply this is the first property the next property is relationship direction so there are various relationship directions are available show parents show unidirected show children show bidirectional and show unknown as per the business need you can choose accordingly but right now normally in the business business don't care about this directions relationship directions now we have the filters suppose one of the data steward only interested in reports to relationship while the other data steward might uh, interested in employees relationship so you can create a filter here for example i will create one filter for employer reports reports to and i will give the name such as reports filter and i will save it so this will save this corresponding filter we want to make it public whenever you make public it is available for the other users i will make it as default for employee okay and save it apply now i can create one more filter one with employee employees and make it as a employees filter and save it apply now i have the two filters one is report to and one is filter to you can make it public if you do not want to make it public that's fine now what i'll do i'll choose only one reports to and apply so that the data will be loaded accordingly so this is the use of the filters when you make more public the other data steward able to see that filter they will just select it and apply it so that accordingly the data will be displayed in this hierarchy view this is regarding the filters if you want to delete any particular filter you have to select that for example i will select this and delete it it says saved filter employees filter will be deleted click on yes so that filter will be deleted but the reports to filter still will be there apply now default in the default hierarchy so what are the hierarchies you have for example we have employee hierarchy we have the product uh, hierarchy you can choose any of that and make it as a default if you do not select that's also fine i'll make it apply 
and save it so this is default view so by default employer hierarchy will be displayed whenever the users open the hierarchy and this is specific to the user this is the one part of the displaying purpose then we have the other category which gives more details like how many graphics you want on this console so right now we have the simple graphic if more than 200 if you want um, suppose if I make 5 and apply so if you see the graphic got changed the name got changed if I make like suppose higher value the additional details will be displayed right now there is no additional de details configured in the MDM hub side that is the reason it is not displayed but you can change this property now entity type this is the details about this entity so it gives the entity type with this box this relationship type will be donated with this arrow here the details about the tip to add a relationship relationship drag entity on another entity so we'll see shortly how to do that next thing we we can see to merge the entities drag the entity on the another entity with alt press in order to merge that entity so this is very important things uh, come concept whenever you go into the real time dip, uh, environment this type of operations are normally requested by business so how to add the relationship so in order to add the relationship you can see at the right hand side there is a button called as add to canvas click on that and you will see the query which is you define at the search level click on that open it and give the any other record or if you know the uh, employee name you can give I will just I'm just giving the raw ID object you will see that record double click on that record and that record will be available now suppose if you want to if you want this relation should not be there actually the it should be with the Murray's uh, record then you, what you have to do whenever you move your cursor you will see the action select that and drag on that new record whenever you drag such a record on any other record one pop-up comes for the adding relationship so relationship it says this is the parent and this is the child the, with the help of arrow you can see the arrow where it is pointed it is the child the type of hierarchy is employer the relationship type is reports to if you want to change any relationship type you can choose that it will available accordingly if that if you are configured for example if you choose the product the relationship type will be different right now we are have the employer that is the reason it is just stick to the reports to and which is we by default made it you can configure the start date of that relationship and the end date of that relationship if you do not select start date and end date let me choose this date if you do not choose start date or end date it will be the start date and end date will be null and it is called as a open relationship that is means the relationship is never going to end so it is open relationship I will click on the save button and that new relationship will be get created and we can see in that visualization view also right now currently for you can see this relationship is get created so uh, by this way you can add the relationship now suppose you want to create the entity a completely new entity in order to create that you have to click on this you will see the what are the subject area you have created create and one of the subject area suppose I am giving the name Suraj employee is supposed to to one and apply and click on save if you notice raw ID object is null when you create because it is a system generated column but this this raw ID object generated once we save that 
So what I'll do, I will go here back on my hierarchy view and again I will add one more entity by searching the newly created droid object. You can search with the name also or you can search with the employee ID also but I'm searching with droid object, double click and uh, here I can see my entity. I'll just drag this entity on top of this. Drag, select it and drag it. I'll keep uh, the relationship same. I'll just mention a short period me and save it the relationship will be get created now next thing uh, what this action says if you click on this action you can see that entity details what are the system column it's a cross reference if history is enabled then you can see the history in the fetch section you can see the if you want to fetch one hop or many hops or the preferences if you click on the preferences you can see the preferences details Along with that, if you want to hide this entity, you can hide this. If you want to hide the ch children, you can hide those. If you want to edit this entity, you can edit it. If you want to delete this entity, you can delete it. It actually soft deletes it. If you want to create any task corresponding to this entity, you can create it. If you want to find the duplicate or the merge candidates, you can do that. For example, if I do that, you can see the search where you can find the corresponding merge candidate or the duplicate if you want to open this entity in the new tab because this is our current tab if you want to open in the new tab you can open it so these are the actions available on particular entity along with that at the application level you can see the other actions for example add to canvas also available as a button and also available as action if you want to close this tab you can close it if you want to close others you can close the others and unmodified if you want to show the history if you click that you will see the history of all these record currently history is not enabled so you're not able to see then we have uh, if you want to export this details on the jpg file you can see and export and that graph get exported you can change the properties also the like sizing of the entities on the graph so this is the page where you can see the entities are exported in the jpg format the next thing we have the show bookmarks you can see the bookmarks if you want to hide selected entity suppose if i select this raj and if i click hide selected entity the entity got if you want to unhide you can do that also uh, if you want to delete any particular entity it can delete it so these are the different details about the hierarchy what are the things you can do in the hierarchy in the IDD and uh, along with that I can show you uh, effective date also suppose till January there are few of entities will is not are not available then you can filter on the effective date so the rest of the entities which are not f falling in that given effective date will not be displayed on the in this hierarchy console uh, I hope this video tutorial is definitely going to uh, increase your IDD knowledge base about the hierarchy and what are the things you can achieve and do the in the hierarchy section uh, I have some more tutorial planned on the hierarchy in the IDD for the customization perspective. So keep watching this space until the next tutorial comes on the way. Thank you and have a nice time.